great. Thank you. No problem. I've been trying to make sense of it. Two hours and since it comes back at sunset. I can tell that you're tough. Water world of Jacques Cousteau. Shortly after his arrival, he constructed one of the first longest river <laughs> in the state. This is where I should belong. I just noticed something very, very interesting. And our captain was extremely knowledgeable. I think I need to know that. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. 306 manatee camp. Before we go look at the manatees, we're going to take a peek at the campground here. See what the sights look like. Send me off with the words of a lullaby. down at Blue Spring State Park. First we're gonna take a walk down here and see if we can see some manatees. Yay. They said there's 300 that was counted. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure at what time that was but yeah. hopefully they're still there. It's a little after one o'clock so they might be heading out of the spring uh, to go eat. And then at 3 30 we're gonna get on a cruise. It's called uh, it's the sunset cruise. It's two hours and since it comes back at sunset we could probably see some more of the nocturnal animals. You know, come out mm -hmm. like at dusk and stuff like that. So. That'll be neat. Yeah. All right. Well, this is really a pretty park here. It's gorgeous. I really like this. Lots of really old uh, oak trees and mm -hmm. there's even a mansion we can go visit, like oh. an old 1800 really? year something or other mansion. Hmm. Something or other. <laughs> yeah. Know? Let's go see the manatees Let's, first. Yes. Oh my. I smell pipi <laughs> We spent a lot of that lately. No, this is really Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> no, that was hot. How would you know? <laughs> I don't know, but... Are you a Pepe Le Pew expert? No, I am not. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point makes a world of difference. Oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Order in a cup of love, feel it.
it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart and soul. I don't know if you can see, but there's a gator swimming upstream. Watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. 75 degrees. I just checked back where we used to live in Iowa. It's 29. <laughs> we don't miss that. No. Uh, don't miss the weather. We don't operate well in cold weather. Set a low of 9 degrees. First thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within Tell that you're tough. Blue Spring is a first magnitude spring that discharges over 102 million gallons of water daily into the St. Johns River. When early American botanist John Bartram paddled into Blue Spring in 1774, he appreciated the Admiral Fountain, but objected to the water's, so oh, let's say, most disagreeable taste. <laughs> swimming so they they don't allow people to swim during this time of the year because there's too many manatees that come in to get into this 70 degree uh, water temperatures mm -hmm. you can kayak paddleboard in here as well during the summer oh, the winter months are the from November to March and those are the only months that springs are actually closed to any people getting in the water. You can do the boat cruises and kayaking and paddle boarding uh, on the St. John's River, which there's buoys that block off where you enter into the springs. Mm. So you can still do that during the winter months, you just can't do that inside here in the spring. How much is the kayaking? Kayak is 27 for a tandem, I think 20 for a single. The boat tour is 28 a piece for adult. Um, I think, it, yeah, I'm not sure about the senior discount, but I know no. senior age was 65 and above. Mm -hmm. And they also have a military discount, of course. Right. All kinds of different fish in here. Yeah, the water is so clear, you can see all the fish. And if you want a snack while you're here, they have a little place that you can get snacks and a gift store. We're going to share a few fun facts. Well, she is. Did you know that in 1971... No. Oh. The episode called The Forgotten Mermaids on the underwater world of Jacques Cousteau was mm -hmm. filmed right here. You just love saying that, don't you? Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> what did he steal? Huh? No, he didn't <laughs> steal anything. That's oh, he stowed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you need a head again? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he filmed a documentary about the Forgotten Mermaids, which are the, the manatees. And after that, it really brought a lot of attention to the area and the rescue efforts of the manatees. And it hmm. was after that point that the Florida State purchased this land and then became the state park. Ah, should we go see the Thursby oh, Mansion? And then there's the Thursby Mansion. Louis Thursby and his wife, back in the 1800s, bought Blue Spring mm -hmm. and built this house. And then they were mm -hmm. influential during the whole steamboat era. And lots of steamboats came up taking tourists from here to Jacksonville. And we'll learn more about that once we go through the tour. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's do that. All right, let's do that. The Thursby House was constructed in 1872 and was once a two-story structure built from three kinds of center-cut pine that had been milled in Savannah, Georgia and transported by boat to the site. Louis P. Thursby and his family settled on the inlet to Blue Springs on the St. Johns River in 1856. Shortly after his arrival, he constructed one of the first steamboat landings and planted one of the first orange groves on the upper St. Johns River. His first residence was a log cabin that he built, and then in 1900, 
Thursby's son added a third story and kitchen wing, which is still standing today. Time for the sunset cruise. I'm excited. St. John River, the longest river in the state. nature and uh, birding if you're a bird person and our captain was extremely knowledgeable about all yeah. the birds um, the trees and the history of the river and the manatees and just 
Yeah. I just really enjoyed it. It was very informative. And uh, at the end of it, a couple stories that just kind of blew blew our minds. About manatees and, uh, and their... Hopefully um, we're able yeah. to share it. we got to go home and do some research and see if we can't find it. She gave us a little hint on where we might be able to find yeah. the stories so that we uh, can tell them correctly. Because <laughs> yeah. we're old and our memory is no, horrible. Well, we just noticed something very, very interesting. Palm tree growing in the middle of a tree. Like the tree is hugging a palm tree. What all did you get there? I don't know. I just loaded up on a bunch of seafood and meat. Got a little bit of a salad and a bunch of seafood. As you know, not all buffets are the greatest food, but for a buffet, I think we're going to rate this, uh, uh, I'm saying an eight. Oh, yeah. I'd say an eight. A lot of sushi. If you're a big sushi eater, it's a good place for yeah. sushi. It was pricey. Yeah. It's very pricey. $30.95 a piece. Yeah. And we were trying to stay away from carbs, so of course we didn't have sushi, you know, with the rice and all that. Okay. But we still filled up. Yeah. You know, we're full. Yeah, they think I need to know that. <laughs> I'm very full. Mercado Japanese Buffet. A solid eight for a buffet. Remember, yeah. for a buffet. It was pretty decent. Yeah. All right. All right. Time to call it a day. Bye bye. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.